clothes. The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide. The pink one looks nice on you, Holly. But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? <laughs> oh, yes. They are very fashionable and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. Okay. The elf tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Sissel's new clothes, Your Majesty. Ooh, lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric, which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. Mummy, you've made Daddy's new clothes dirty. So I have. And King and Queen Marigold will be here soon. Nanny, have you got time to clean it? Leave it with me, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, can Ben and I help you? Of course. Hmm, that's a fair old stain. How are we going to clean it? Um... The elf tailor said we shouldn't use magic. That's all right. We'll just throw it in the washing machine. But the elf tailor said it was very delicate. What does an elf know about washing clothes? He makes them. He might make clothes, but he hasn't washed as many as I have. We'll need lots of soap powder. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Nothing clothes like better than a good, hot, soapy wash. You know, as we're doing a wash, we should clean the king's old clothes as well. His scruffy clothes? Yes. OK. La 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 Daddy! Yes? We're going to wash all your clothes. OK. Shoes and crown too, Nanny. Why not? Then everything will be clean. <laughs> la 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 Here are the clothes, la. Nanny. Fantastic. In they go. There. Now we let the washing machine do all the work. It's all very clever and scientific. What's it doing? That's the first wash cycle. <laughs> Now what's it doing? It's rinsing all the soap out. It's very clever. <laughs> Finished! Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk! Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. 
Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny tiny gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! Nanny Plum, quick, give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. <coughs> ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, um... Hmm. We can make magic clothes. Nanny, can you do that? If you insist, Queen Thistle, but magic clothes can be a bit tricky. Hello, anyone there? They're here! Oh, just make the magic clothes, Nanny. I'll go and see you to our guests. As you wish, Your Majesty. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Carrots! Now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes, nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh. I don't think I think at all. Oh, oh I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That. Is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would never have thought of that. And you say that you don't think about what you wear. <laughs> you know more by fashion than we ever could. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, well, uh... Now, tell me, have you ever considered teaching fashion. Oh. Ah, Danny Plum, could you make us something for dinner, please? Of course, Your Majesty. I can make you anything you like, as long as you don't... Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's 
easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis Par Ennius. <sighs> Bellis Par Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. Uh, oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> but I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. 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 Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, wild elf. Ahem. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr. Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <coughs> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <coughs> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> And elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <laughs> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now, so that you learn how to work the proper elf way, without magic. Oh. Don't worry, you can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers. And remember to tap gently. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. 
Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Mummy, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on. I assure you, Mr. Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. I bother. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. <coughs> I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly, let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. <laughs> Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Holly, here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf.